Stop giving ugly men a chance. Sorry, but I simply cannot stay quiet any longer. Women, you have got to stop dating ugly men. Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks. But I am though. All right, fellas, we have to stop dating fat women. We have to stop giving fat women a chance. You see how stupid that sounds? Like, who am I to tell you who to date? I can't tell you how many times I've seen an extremely skinny guy with an extremely fat woman. But you don't see me going to my phone to post a video about it on TikTok and complain about all oh, these fat women are dating skinny men. <laughs> Cause that is asinine. And that is the first time I've ever used that word in a video. But listen, but aren't these the same women that get on people for body shaming? Aren't these the same women that get on people for being too superficial? I thought everyone deserved love. I thought it was all about the personality. I thought looks didn't matter for you guys. But I can definitely say that as children, we were taught that we all deserve love. We will find that special someone and live happily ever after. It's what's portrayed in the media. It's what's portrayed in the Disney fairy tales and all these Disney movies with the perfect happy ending, right? But then we become a adults and realize that a happy ending takes work. You're not just gonna miraculously meet someone and live happily ever after. A lot of us will have someone that would love us to the ends of the earth, but we just completely ignore them. So do we really want love or do we just want status? And guys, listen, I'm not making this video to hate on anybody. I do not want to spread hate. This is why I am blanking out the usernames on all these videos. I'm just here to spit the facts and ask some thought-provoking questions, man. I'm here to challenge the societal norm. But before we get further into this video, I need y'all to help me out, man. Hit that like button. Just hit that like button, okay? And also follow me on Instagram for more content and for updates. So let's go ahead and get into these clips, man. When I got time, I'm stunning. Yeah, I do this in my sleep, it ain't nothing. I like the sex better when it's... You've got to stop. You are setting feminism back years. Okay, what does women dating ugly men have anything to do with feminism? What are you talking about? Isn't the whole feminist movement about equality so men and women can be in an equal playing field? Isn't that what feminism is about? The last time I checked, it wasn't about women dating ugly men. I am so sick of walking down the street and seeing the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life with just some guy. Just imagine, man. Just imagine taking the time to get angry at something like that. You're just gonna walk on the street, see an ugly guy with a cute girl, and just be angry. Imagine every time I saw a skinny guy with a fat girl, I get angry. I'd be the most miserable guy on the planet, bro. I would have to spend hours in the gym to work out my issues, man. With a solid four. Like, I understand that you value charity work, but sis, go to a soup kitchen. Enough is enough. She really said charity work. Golly. <laughs> but listen, we can all agree that most of the time when you see a really attractive woman with a ugly man, probably because he makes up for his looks in other ways, like he has money, he has status, some kind of clout, or maybe she actually finds him attractive. You ever thought about that? Huh? You ever thought about that? And this next clip is about to be funny, man. She doesn't want to be held accountable. So remember a few months ago where I jokingly said women stop dating ugly men and- oh, It's a joke now. <laughs> it's a joke now. And men went absolutely fail in my comments about it. DMing me death threats, telling me I was ugly, you know, things like that. Okay guys, listen to death threats and all that shit. You don't have to get that worked up about that. Just move on about your day. And let's be honest, man. She's not ugly. She might have some big eyes, but she's not ugly, man. I actually think she's kind of pretty. And it's just the fact that her eyes are that big and she still can't see that her opinion is kind of trash. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of bullshit. Well, since then, I've had two paid promotional opportunities. I've launched my own podcast and I got a new job that pays more. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> and y'all are just still doing this i don't know maybe you should hustle as hard as you hate okay that still doesn't make your opinion any less bullshit but she does loki have a little bit of point man instead of wasting your time and watching trash like this go ahead and focus on yourself man go to the gym get your money up let's go up man let's become the best version of ourselves man don't give them too much of your energy but here's the final thing that really gets to me about this girl is that she doesn't even date men she doesn't even date men she is a lesbian so everything she just said is it's complete bullshit no wonder why she's mad about ugly men dating pretty women. It's because they're taking all the pretty women away from her. She mad, she jealous. She getting mad that these ugly men can pull beautiful women and she can't. Still all love though, you know what I'm saying? Still all love. Me and my body's relationship has been the most toxic relationship. So this is Billie Eilish talking about her struggles with her body, having body dysmorphia not feeling comfortable in her own body, right? And she's an advocate for mental health and is anti-body shaming. you think she would have a little bit more understanding, but unfortunately, that is not the case when it comes to ugly men. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God, 
because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. Like, you're still ugly, though. Can't change that. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's, like, why, like, guys with small dicks get, like, huge mansions to make up for it, you know? Or, like, like really nice cars. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know, man. That little laugh she did at the end looked like she was hurt by an ugly guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say, say, for instance, you date a fat girl, right? And not that I have a thing against fat girls, but say if you dated a really fat girl, a really obese girl, and then she cheats on you, how, how are you gonna feel? You know what I'm saying? How are you gonna feel? You're gonna be like, damn, I gave you a chance. I treated you like a queen. And you still gonna cheat on me? You still gonna cheat on me? I am way above your league and you still gonna cheat on me. You fat fuck. This is the thing I realized, man. When anybody talks about men, it's just all insensitive. Like men don't have feelings too, bro. Stop giving ugly men a chance. What do you think would happen if a guy made the same video? They do. And they have been since the beginning of time. I've never seen a guy on TikTok, hey fellas, you should stop dating ugly women. I'm, I'm, I've never seen a video like that. They've been calling women low value and comparing them to used cars every time they've had access to a microphone. But it feels uncomfortable to hear it about yourself because it hasn't historically been done. Okay, I see what she's talking about. Cause yeah, I've heard it on a podcast and everything like that. Guys are like, oh, we don't want a car with a lot of mileage. Cause we know it comes with a lot of problems. And they just use that as a, analogy to date a woman that's like very promiscuous, right? So that really has nothing to do with physical appearance. So I don't know what she's talking about right here. Like ugly and being promiscuous is different. You're not used to seeing men judge solely on their physical appearance instead of who they are as a person. What are you talking about? Men get judged on just their appearance all the damn time. All the damn time. And now you're mad that they're being lumped together by one characteristic and considered undesirable. But you sat idly by while they did that to almost every category of women throughout history. Women say they don't want a broke man. They don't want an average man. They don't want an ugly man. So what are you talking about? We've been lumped into these categories for a while now. And that led to women believing that they were as worthless as society made them feel. And now they realize that they deserve more, but you don't like that when it's done at a man's expense. Men are so undervalued that you get women on social media making videos saying we should kill all men. We need to kill all men. They don't appreciate us at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't appreciate men at all. Kill all men. Like, it's crazy. But you never want to see a man comes out and make a video saying kill all women. You don't want people telling women to raise their standards, but you were fine when they were telling them to lower them because of their age, weight, or previous sexual history. And I'm not saying that I support anyone being called ugly, but I do find it ironic that you only want to talk about fairness once the tables have turned. And that tells me that you don't care about this being done to people. You care about it being done to you. Okay, all we're saying is that if you want a guy that's up to that standard, you should hold yourself up to that standard as well. That's all it is. I don't know what her argument was, but it's like, she's not really holding both sides accountable. I just wanted to make this video to say that if you love someone and that person is good for you, is right for you, the relationship is doing you well, you guys are benefiting from the relationship, stay in that relationship and fuck what everybody else says. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna relationship watch. If you like who you like, you like who you like. What the fuck do I look like just getting mad about that? It's dumb, bro. It's dumb. Talking about, oh, ugly men dating beautiful women, that's going, <laughs> that goes against feminism. <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> uh. <laughs>